underlying idea of innovation principle is that without innovation, Europe doesn't have a very bright future because we're not strong in labor costs, we're not strong on energy costs. What we have, our big capital, is our brains. And to deal with the future, we need to be able to innovate. Now, to be able to do that, you need to have the freedom of, and the space to actually be able to develop new initiatives, new solutions. The innovation principle is about addressing the regulators that there should be enough space for innovation to take place and if they do regulate they take account of the effect it could have on innovation. Agriculture is extremely important and especially because we're seeing growing world population, we're seeing climate change, the effects on plants and we're seeing slower availability of new land and shortage of water. And all of these together need new techniques to maintain our agricultural productivity. I think this is the main point, but I would like to add that an aspect of regulation should be evidence. And I think one of the difficulties that the political people in the parliament, for instance, face is that there's a lot of ideology attached to subjects like genetics and agriculture because the sustainability dimension is one that cannot be ignored but it is there that innovation is going to be needed most so one shouldn't resist innovation one should welcome it because that will make our agriculture ultimately more sustainable